energy, Kira, as ever, dominating the headlines. Um, Liz Trust expected to announce uh, a 130 billion euro plan ahead of uh, the EU ministers meeting uh, tomorrow to try and come up with an EU wide plan. Pressure here on the government to go beyond the 2 billion euro. Uh, giveaway that they're going to have that's separate to the budget it's kind of one-off measures that they're going to announce on budget day to tackle the the uh, the energy crisis interesting what Liz Truss is doing because 130 billion obviously they have a much bigger population it would be the equivalent of us having an energy package of 10 billion yeah. which is five times what is it being predicted to happen here although it'll, it'll will end up being more uh, than 2 billion and that idea she's going to cap energy prices at current levels uh, mixed views on it in the UK. Do you think it's a good idea, Kira? Well, certainly it's been floated here before. I've certainly heard people from people before profit uh, have been discussing it for quite a while. I don't know. I don't know is the answer. I don't know how we see our way out of out of this. I don't know truthfully, so I'm not going to pretend I do, what kind of a package would work. I thought it was very interesting stuff today in the papers that this idea of siphoning off the windfall tax from, from those low cost producers like, like um, wind and solar and, and all of those things and then taking that money and giving it back and that's now being kind of hammered in Europe by people saying that's complicated, it suits Germany but not other countries and it's not a great idea. What I do think is this, and it's a slightly controversial point of view, I know that we need to target the most vulnerable in this country and protect them and I think that's a good thing. So take that as a given. But I also think we need some kind of universality as well and I'll tell you why because I don't think that there is anyone not being affected by all of this. We're hearing about the interest uh, right, hikes that could mean for people on fairly normal mortgages if it hits five point something percent which they're talking about okay. it being able so to. So are you agree with you agree with an energy we, cap? I'm saying I don't know about the energy cap but yeah. what I'm saying is we need something that is universal. Because I think that, an energy that, cap is bonkers personally. Well I think we need something because, universal. Because I think an energy cap basically what it does is it subsidises not just those who are most in need not just those who are in the middle ground who are getting squeezed but it also subsidises those who are incredibly wealthy, who can afford to go on four uh, foreign this, holidays this, a year this and is so the, on. The, oh, the, 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 the billionaire kind of rules. No, no, not billionaires. About 5% I'm not talking, about, of the I'm not talking about billionaires. About 5% of the population earn over 100 grand a year. The rest of the population, two thirds of them earn less than 60 grand a year. The vast majority of people are squeezed at the moment and you can't keep asking the squeezed middle, the little red hens, so of, the little red hens of society no, to keep Kira, going and only you're care about the vulnerable. You're kind of the question. Do you subsidise I like everyone? I sound like a politician. You, yes, you, you do. You subsidise everyone. So because if you, if you could so siphon people, it off... So say, let's say somebody, and there's nothing wrong with doing this, but if you took four foreign holidays last year, should you be subsidised to be able to take four foreign holidays next year? Shane, if you were able to, to get down to the minutiae of people's lives like that and then decide if they deserve something... But that's what you're cost, doing. But my point is... It would cost is, you so much money, it no, would be ridiculous. You, no, you don't have to get down to that minutiae. But what I'm saying is... If you cap energy prices for everybody, that's effectively what you're doing. Yes, that's well my then point. do that. Yes, th- so then you, yes, I'm not so, looking so, for election, so, so yes. So use, use scarce taxpayers' money Instead of targeting it, you say, give it to everybody. So you, are you going to take the children's allowance off people who went on four family Well, I, I would personally, I would yeah, tax well, I children's person, allowance. I personally but, uh, but that's a different, wouldn't. that's a different debate. So you think give it to everybody yes. and splash the cash, get a heli- helicopter and drop money from, from the helicopter. That's not, you're, you're putting words in my mouth now. But that's effectively I would not like is. to be interviewed by you. Um, look, all I am saying is, I think there is a squeeze middle. I think they are the little red hens and I don't think you can keep dipping from the same pot all the time and talking about a fictitious group of million billionaires yeah. out there that is vanishingly small uh, and can't prop up the country uh, I'm just saying universality like, we need Kira, it and targeting I, the I don't need to be protected in well, the same way well don't protect Shane Coleman but do protect me is Kira Kelly yeah, yeah, I'd I like it know. thanks okay. very much